Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and today we are going to be kind of piggybacking off of the last video we did where we made this juggler, and by the way, I made some improvements I'll update you guys on in a bit, and uh, kind of inspired by using the challenge mode ball parts and physics and skill, I'm going to try to make a version of ball in a cup. You know, the thing where you have a ball attached to a string which is attached to the cup and you gotta kind of like get the ball to go into the cup by swinging the string with the ball on the end. And we're gonna be using the ropes mod for that. And we all know how reliable and consistent the ropes mod physics are. So I'm sure this is gonna be super easy and nothing is gonna go wrong and we're gonna get it on the first try. But before we get into that, let me show you what I did to the juggler. So I'm gonna upload this to the workshop so y'all can have some fun with it too. But uh, I made it automatic, so all you have to do is press a single button and it'll keep juggling uh, as best as it can. And if it drops, it'll automatically replace the balls uh, using some like sensor stuff and things that I did over here. And I've also added some fingers to it so it actually grabs the balls, which once he gets into a groove, he tends to start off a little bit rocky. But once he gets into a groove, he tends to grab them and it makes the next throws a little bit better. So let's see how he does here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and press the button and... Actually, I'm going to get out of the seat just to show you that it's fully automated. I'm not going to be doing anything else to it. So, obviously, he's going to drop a few times here and there. But once he gets into a groove, it tends to go pretty well, like he is right now. Check that out. He's going. He is juggling. It's going pretty consistent, too. I'm actually really impressed. I haven't been counting, but I'm pretty sure he broke the record from the last video, which was like nine. Oh, there goes a drop. Yep, he dropped one, but you can see he just replaced it. We're back to juggling three balls. Completely automatic with the press of a single button. And if you ever wanted to, if you ever wondered what it looked like to juggle, then uh, this is kind of the perspective here a little bit. Well, not not entirely. You'd more be looking up than down. But here's a cool top-down perspective either way. And you can actually see the balls landing in there, except for that one. But there you go. We're back to juggling three again, even though he dropped two. Yeah, so completely automatic. Really proud of this thing. I'll be uploading it to the workshop. Actually, you know what? Let's do it right now during this recording. So this is the auto version of the juggling robot called Juggling Robot Auto. So you just gotta weld this thing to the ground, press the button, let Freb, the juggling robot, get into a groove and, and, and enjoy the show and share. All right, there you go. Check out my workshop if you want to play with the juggling robot. Now let's get to ball in a cup. Now for this one, we're going to be using the ropes mod. All right, let me actually confirm. Can the ropes attach to the ball? I mean, there's no reason why the ropes shouldn't be able to attach to the ball. However, I think the ball itself only has like a single attachment point. So it might only be able to attach from a single position. And when it comes to the ball spawner, I don't know what position that's going to be as it spawns out of the spawner. Yep, yeah, all right, that totally works. So now we need to make a cup with a handle and I'm gonna try to make a system so that a ball spawner will spawn the ball and attach automatically. I don't know how this is gonna work to be honest. But you know what, let's start with the cup first, then we'll figure out the mechanisms to attach the ball and stuff. Now I'm gonna make the cup as light as possible because we are going to be having to move and rotate the cup in order to swing the ball up into the cup. So we wanna make sure that our bearings are gonna be under minimal stress. All right, I think this is a good size cup here. So now let's, um, I hope this thing has a center point. I'm pretty sure this thing has a center point, right? Yeah, this thing, yeah, it's a center point. Good, now we have a place to put the handle. And we're gonna paint this thing bright red. All right, so this is what I got so far. So when the ball spawns in, it spawns in down there, it triggers the sensor, which is then going to make the rope attached to the ball automatically. So it's going to be really easy to set up as far as getting the ball attached to the cup. Now we have to do the hard part, which is creating some type of control mechanism to move the cup around in a way that this ball is going to be able to be swung up onto the cup. And I am not sure how to do that quite yet. I'm assuming I'm going to be using pistons. And we're gonna have to have like a seat platform where we can see and control things from. Uh, yeah, this isn't gonna be easy. But hey, if we fail, it's okay because the ball is attached to a string which is attached to the cup. The ball makes funny noises. It feels like it's trying to talk to me. 
What do you guys think the ball would be saying right now? Leave a comment down below. So I'm thinking right now, uh, there's a lot of different movements that we're gonna need here. Um, actually, there's a lot of different combinations of movements that could work. We could, it could even work with a horizontal movement. Because if the ball is attached to a string down here and we just move horizontal and stop, it should, if we have enough momentum, go around and up if it's going fast enough. I don't know exactly how I want it to move, but I think it'll be nice to be able to tilt the cup as well, just to feel like you have that level of control. So I'm going to put a bearing right here to create a tilting thing. And I think I'm going to make it simple and just put it on steering for the seat. Steering bearings tend to be pretty strong compared to like engine bearings or things like that. And then I'm going to put double pistons so we can get some speed. And we're going to see if this is sufficient. So basically what you can do is you can turn to tilt the cup this way. Then you can use the piston. Or I'll turn the balls down here. You're going to use the piston to move the ball this way. And then as it swings, you can actually let go of the steering to give it a little boost and hopefully get it into the cup. Now the issue is you're not going to have a lot of control over where the cup is going to be after. Hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have our first prototype ball in the cup here, and uh, I really don't know what to expect, to be honest. But um, like I was worried about, the bearing, the steering bearing isn't as stable as I like. I mean, you can move it this way, but as you can see, it doesn't really settle in. So then when you release, it kind of waves back and forth, which to me is going to make it a little bit difficult to actually realistically use that. But um, we'll see what happens. So then you can also press this button to kind of move the ball or move the cup off to the side. So I'm hoping that with a combination of tilting the cup this way and um, then moving it and then tilting it back. Oh boy. Okay, so I actually tried to tilt it back while it was moving back and it didn't work. Oh, look what's happening to the cup or to the ball. All right. So, well, this is tilt. Oh, oh, there we go. We got it up above the cup. Oh, oh. And the ball also pulls the cup on the bearing, which might not be good. So the whole tilting the cup thing might actually be hurting us more than helping us. Oh, that was actually... That looks like something might have happened there. So the tilting the cup thing might be hurting us more than helping us. So I might have to get rid of that bearing entirely and switch it out for just a vertical piston. So basically we can move out and up and yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll see what happens. All right, so we got a new setup here. So I'm actually, I realized that one piston on full speed is pretty fast. However, we might need some more horizontal movement, but uh, we also got this too. So I'm hoping that that's going to be able to bring the ball up enough, but uh, I guess we'll find out if the cup stops getting in the way of the actual ball. All right, well, here goes nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay, nope, that's not working. All right, we're gonna need the other piston in here for the horizontal movement. We definitely need more distance. It's not about speed for horizontal, it's about distance. All right, here we go, horizontal, and then, oh, uh, okay, so uh, that's an issue. It keeps, like, hitting itself rather than staying on the side. There we go, there we go. <gasps> we're on the verge of something right now. Like, I think we might have everything we need to make this work. It's just, the physics of this are completely completely impossible to predict pretty much all right forward let's get up oh 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 go forward all right now this is <laughs> now this is just like a luck game oh this game looks so derpy too because this ball isn't really attached to a rope attached to a cup or a string attached to a cup it's attached to an elastic band attached to a cup all right forward up get in the cup you know what i have an idea this might be difficult to implement, but I'm actually going to make this cup completely movable up, down, left, and right using TGFH. So it's going to be much more intuitive to control, but uh, this is going to take some weird piston stuff to organize. All right, we got it. So we got up, down, left, and right. <laughs> wow, that is a lot of left to right movement. So now the only other thing, oh, I actually need to hook up the button to spawn the ball here. Um, I'm thinking about, we need to make this a lot higher off the ground if I want to do what I want to do. But to try to make it less likely that the ball is going to hit itself, I want to put a timer so that the rope doesn't actually trigger till the ball falls for like a second. All right. That's not bad. I could get behind that. All right, let's try it out. All right, so we're going to move to the right. Oh boy, that ball does, because the stretch of the rope really makes the ball not want to move. Oh, and now it's just colliding. It's just colliding with the thing. Oh, okay. This is going to be extremely difficult. 
I mean, I knew it was going to be extremely difficult, but I don't think I really appreciated just how stretchy this rope is. Look at that. This is just ridiculous. All right, come on. There we go. Up into the cup. No, go up. Oh, catch it, catch it, catch it. Catch <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if I just got it from there. All right, now we're kind of off axis here. Oh, this is dangerous. I can't stop it. Okay, calm down. Calm down. You know, I need to put a release button in here. That way, if you just want to start over, you can press the release button. The ball will drop. You can spawn a new one in. It'll be nice and calm. All right, let's, what if we go left first, and then right, and then... It hits us. I don't think there's anything we can do about the fact that it's going to keep coming back into us and hitting us. All right. Ow! Go this way. Up. Catch it. <laughs> Literally, the hardest game of ball in a cup you could ever imagine is this right here. Oh, that was close. Oh, 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 no, no, not quite. Get in there. Get, get in there. Get. <laughs> We're going to get this. I promise by the end of this video, you will see a successful uh, ball going in the cup. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm going to restart. Oh, there goes the ball. All right, let's spawn another one. Okay. Wait, it, is zooming in? No, this is a bet. Zooming in doesn't work very well with these seats. Actually, you know what? I don't need this type of seat anymore. Let's do a seat that works better since we're using only buttons. Toilet seat is the obvious choice here. All right, now we have a decent view here. Let's see if we can't do this. We got, we're, we're on a roll here. We're on a roll. Get, get in the thing. This is it. This is it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <gasps> What if we don't do as much horizontal movement? What if we just go a little bit more vertical? Here, we'll let go of this ball. Goodbye. Spawn in a new one. All right, what if we just go a little bit horizontal? We'll just get the ball swinging back and forth. There we go. And then... Okay, it's not... Oh, oh, oh. Then up. 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 Dang it. Up. 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 Oh, oh, oh. This is good. This is good. This is good. Oh, that was close. Come on. That looks good. Oh! <gasps> it worked! It actually worked! I cannot believe that just worked. Ready? Eh. Okay. All right. All right. We can do this then. Let's, let's bring it back out. Ready? It's going to go around. It's going to go up. Oh, up. Dang it. Up. Do I have that up one on max speed? I, I don't have it on max speed. What were we thinking? All right, now we're going to have a little bit more controllability going up and down. Oh, that was way too much. Way too much. Oh, boy. It's out of control now. What have we done? Calm down. Calm down. All right, we got to counteract it. Oh, counteract it. There we go. There we go. Show the ball who's boss. All right, the ball's calmed down a little bit. Give this another go. Oh, no way. All right, I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring out some um, some tricks, some little tips and tricks of the trade to get the ball to be a little bit more controllable. So as the cup moves to the side, the ball kind of lags behind for a bit and then wants to go directly into it. But if you move it to the side and as it's coming into it, then you lift it up, then the ball kind of goes around and up. So let's try that again. See if I'm correct about this assumption. All right, we go, whoops, wrong, wrong buttons. All right, we go to the right and we lift up. Yeah, see, that is really close. Like, we might be able to get this here. I'm going to detach this ball. Let's spawn in a new one with a fresh, fresh kind of trajectory here. We're just littering the world with balls here. Not as much, not nearly as much as we did with the juggling, though. Oh, you see that? That was close. All right, right. Oops, this isn't good. Catch it. That was it again. All right, this is doable now. As I practice more, I'm getting better. I think I am getting better as I practice more, and that makes it even more fun. Like, this is turning out to actually be somewhat of a skill game and not just a pure luck randomness game. Okay, well, now we're getting into the randomness here. Okay, all right, let go of the ball. That ball's gone. I don't know where it went, but it's definitely gone. Okay, okay, here goes nothing. 
All right, right up. Get in there. Oh, man. I want to get that. I want to like spawn the ball in and then my first attempt, I want to get it in the cup because I feel like that's doable. So if you're wondering what controls I'm using here, uh, the first four buttons are set up to my flight controls, which actually makes it really intuitive. So I'm using TGFH as one, two, three, four. So if you look on your keyboard, TGFH is the same configuration as WASD. So essentially it's T to go up, G to go down, um, F to go left and H to go right. And that just makes it really intuitive for my fingers here. All right, here we go. We reset. Let's see if we can do this. First try after the reset. First try after the reset. Did you, I don't know if you guys realize that how big of an accomplishment this feels like to be right now. <laughs> oh, can we do that again? Here. Oh, you know what we could do? We could actually disconnect that one. We could spawn another ball in. Well, we're just going to get rid of that ball once we go up, but let's try it anyway. I cannot believe that we just did it twice in a row. All right, let's get rid of that ball. Let's try another. Let's try a third time in a row. Hat trick. We're going for the hat trick. Ball in a cup hat trick here. Oh, that, I, I messed it up. I just totally... No, that didn't count. That didn't count. I wasn't actually trying. All right. Hat trick take two. All right, here we go. This way. Up. Guys, I think I found the method here. Okay, let's disconnect that one, spawn in a new one. All right, here we go. This way, up. Oh, dang it. We didn't have enough backwards pull. But you got to be, like, a little bit more gentle. And this is totally doable. This way, up. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what if we can go back around? Then back up. Guys, guys. This is way more easy than I thought it was. All right, no, I'm not gonna say that. It's way less impossible than I thought it was. I think that is a more appropriate term here. All right, let's see if we can do this again. Another hat trick. Let's make this look good. Here we go, everyone's watching. Oh, that was good. That was good, okay, there's one. Now can we bring it out, back down, back up, and then back in. There's two. Now out, back down, Back up, and then back. Oh, that was so close to three in a row. Oh, I want to get that. I want to get three in a row. I don't know why I'm setting these goals for myself, but I just want to do it. All right, here we go. There's one. Oh, all right. You know what? We're going straight for another one. Oh, dang it. Ruined it. Ruined it. But that was a, that was a good first one. All right, right. Oh, look at that. What? What? No, get <laughs> All right, I'm going to do this. Three catches, same rope, not even disconnecting and resetting. Three catches in a row. Okay, let's begin. <laughs> There's one. Okay, two more, two more. Dang it. Oh, man. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. There's one. All right. Here we go. Oh, there's two. Oh, man. Please, please get this hat trick. Here we go. That's three. That's three. We did it. Video's over. You can go now. Bye. Video, video's over. We're leaving. Make sure you subscribe. Just subscribe. Like the video. Make sure you like it. Go away.